That's the entrance. Wood robes right here. Hanging space. Plenty of hanging space on both sides Plenty and the baskets space. and the doors. A tea cabinet up the top. Or you can We'll just... show that in a little bit more detail later. Yep. This is the bedroom. This is the bed space. Plenty of cupboard space up the top. Cupboard space down the end of the bed as well. And these large cupboards in here as well. This is where the diesel heater lives in that cupboard. And the other cupboard is just full size. The remote for the diesel heater is just on the other side. Of the bed? On the other side of the bed in here. And as you come in, there's also the couch space. Or also another bed with room for boots down the bottom. All your electronics in under the single bed. That's where the batteries leave. Just behind that little grill there. This and then there's the more 4G, storage there. 4G booster right here, which is all wired up, ready to go. So it boosts the signal for 4G. And then plenty of storage at the end of the bed. Storage at the bed ends, both, both ends. This goes down for blankets or jackets or whatever you want to store there. Same thing at that end. There's heaps more under this mattress as well, um, which we'll show that in another video. We'll lift up the mattress and show you all the battery management system and everything under there. Up in the bedroom, there's two windows, one on each side. So you've got great cross ventilation and then you've also got a um, roof hatch window and you've also got a fly screen up there and you can, you can also draw, draw a blind shut so it's so not all, so hot. All the windows have either a shutter blind or fly screen blinds. Two Every little reading lamps there near the, near the bed. And then you've also got a light right here that works as well. Very bright. So these lights actually switch on from the light switch as you walk in the door. And so you switch them off and on, but then you can individually t choose which light you would leave on or off like this. So that controls the three lights down the center of the trailer. The other thing we've got there is the air conditioner. That's brand new. Brand new Truma 240 volt air conditioner. Um, I think it's we, got a we remote. used it once to test it out and that was it and it works beautifully. We've got a little remote hiding There's a remote in mounted in here. Um, maybe we'll show that with the curtain in front. Yeah. So there's a an office nook with this a... The office nook. With a bookshelf. With a bit of storage behind the office. Yeah. 240 volt plugs there. Behind this blind here, um, there's more storage. Um, this is the remote for the air conditioner and we're going to send another video for the electronic system in here as well. So in the office nook we have um, obviously we've got some USB charging ports here in this space here just for charging phones and everything. There's also two 40 volt power points in here. There's so much power throughout this trailer it's great. Um, up in here, because Yvonne was sort of doing some videography and everything on the road, we've made a charging station and this would fit all of the power banks and lighting and, and camera Cameras. charges and, and all of the charging ports all the way along at the top. All so you've the way got along. three and you've got cigarette lighter chargers. Three sockets and the rest are USB. I think that's it. Yep. Yep. The rest are USB, double USB chargers. Two, so you've got two point one amp, but they're all two point one amps, so that's a good one. Yep. And then you've got just a. And that's a ind individual fuse block just for this system here. Yep. So it's all been professionally wired up. And there's and more storage sized. up the top. Yep. There's so much storage in this in this place. These um, storage bins are huge. They're massive. So yeah. there's plenty of room for more storage everywhere you go. And then we'll do the kitchen next. The kitchen. So he, here's the kitchen. So I think as Yvonne might have mentioned to you already, we set the bench top forward for two reasons. One reason is that we could fit all our jars of food and everything behind the kitchen and still travel with it there. And the other reason is that we could put a couple of stools here. These stools will come with the trailer and you can easily and very comfortably sit 
under the bench with your knees under the bench and eat, eat your breakfast or something. This is the drop in uh, piece of bench that goes into the sink. So the kitchen sink is under there. And it's an, a really nice extra deep sink. It is a good, it's a full size kitchen sink, absolutely. So here we have the kitchen. Um, and I think Yvonne mentioned to you on the phone that we set the kitchen bench forward for a reason. So the kitchen bench is set forward so that we could fit you know, jars of food and breakfast cereal and everything down the back and we can travel with it uh, while it's down there. But also you can comfortably sit on a stool at the bench and each breakfast. Um, these stools will come with the trailer as well. So they're a really good height for the kitchen bench. Um, there's plenty of storage underneath the kitchen for cans of food or, or whatever, you know. So we'll we'll put some baskets with it. Yeah, the baskets, baskets fit perfectly. That built to fit in there, that's right. And it fits cans upright. That's right, that's how we built it. Uh, we've got our 12 volt fridge here. This fridge has a remote compressor. So that means the, the compressor is actually mounted separately to the fridge. So this fridge gets full depth all the way back as opposed to other fridges which has the compressor mounted in the bottom, you only get half your depth. And a freezer at the top. Which still has peas in it, which sorry guys. They needs won't come. The peas removed. <laughs> they, they won't come with the yeah, peas. Yeah, peas are not included. Um, we also have, while we're down this way, we've got a slide out uh, pantry. All beautiful, nice leather door handles and everything, like beautifully trimmed pantry here. So these both slide out, very good access for these. And that's all under the kitchen sink. And once again, latches for travel. We have a Stanley tool chest here for, you know, your cutlery drawer, bowls and plates. There's so much room in these drawers. You can fit a whole kitchen's worth in there. And we, we could even fit all our pots upright in pots there. Pots and pans upright yeah. in here. Yeah, absolutely. A um, little bit of room for storage on top there, but um, storage on top and then again we did the baskets underneath yep. for cans and then there's also we we had our um a couple of baskets with um detergent and sponges and things and then these come with it as well um they're great to put over the sink these fit perfectly over the top of the sink uh for when you're doing food prep and stuff like that so these are awesome and great things. for hot pots yeah to stick there um so we've got our 12 volt uh, gas stove, which I've actually just disconnected the gas bottle, so we don't have gas <laughs> at the moment. But um, yeah, we'll twelve volt gas on. stove, and we've got our range hood here and everything, um, which is beautiful. Beautiful tiled wall in here. We also had this window professionally installed as well. So this was just a blank wall before. It actually had bunk beds here where we're standing. So this window is, gives you a beautiful outlook while you're cooking you know, cooking dinner or eating breakfast or whatever. Um, up the top here, we have more storage for food and everything like that. This is very, very solid, this shelf. We had a lot of weight up here while we were traveling and it did not budge, nothing moved off it. Um, and there's obviously, once again, storage everywhere. Lots of storage in here for, you know, pots and pans or whatever. Um, we do have our knife rack. Um, and what else? What else do we have in the kitchen? I think that so opposite the kitchen we have the shower. So in the shower we have um, there's the light switch for the shower and toilet in here. So if I'm going to squeeze around here and show you inside. So we have a cassette, a Thetford cassette toilet, um, 12 volt toilet, and we have our shower and everything. We've got running hot water, 12 volt water pump. We have an extraction fan uh, and roof hatch at the top as well. And that fan works as well. Everything works. Why is the switch? It's actually behind the winder. You wind it. You wind it. Yeah. You're not filming now. So it's a yeah. reversible one and then you can close that hatch down again and it's got fly screen so you don't get bugged by bozzy, mozzies um, yeah that's the shower cool and once again through the other end of the trailer this is where we have the horse float end we haven't got the dividers in there at the moment our dividers are in storage we'll be picking those up shortly um, 
But yeah, in here is the three horse angle load divider. Um, with the ramp, that, as, as Yvonne said, the ramp's been rebuilt. Uh, new coating and everything on it, very, very strong ramp. Um, plenty of, what are these called, honey? Rug, rug bins. Yep, rug bins, and yep. all these windows have got fly screens on them as well. All openable, openable. windows with, yep. with good fly screen in it and everything. So two at the rear end and then three windows at the, at the nose at end. The nose end. Yep. yep, and these have got nice bars over the top. And then we've also got um, light above and then and these hatches open up. Hatches as well. These two, yeah, these two hatches open up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yes, we have not actually cleaned this, so if you can see how dirty it is in the video, um, this will obviously be very clean. We'll clean this right out. And the rubber's been replaced on the rear ramp, and yeah. And it's fully sealed and waterproof, this can be journeyed out. Yeah. And cleaned out. Alright. That's it. That's it. I think. There's also a full-size mirror just here, um, with another cupboard yet again up the top here. <laughs> very deep cupboard in there um, and we still need to show the tea cabinet and the floors so another couple of really nice features is this used to be a television cabinet in here and Yvonne really loves her nice tea so we converted it from a TV cabinet into a tea cabinet so we've got some nice shelves in there behind a glass screen a couple more power points it can be easily converted back to a television cabinet it still has the aerial plug and everything in here 12 volt outlet and aerial plug and a couple of 240 volt plugs the aerial still works it's up on the roof here that's the winding mechanism for the aerial so that all still works you just got to remove the shelves and you've got a te television cabinet again but full feature to keep just nice things dry and dust free the other thing we did was completely replace the whole floor throughout beautiful floating floor here um, we tried to find a color that would complement everything that we we're doing in here as well um, and finally, uh, we've got the, for the inside, the final thing is to show the battery management system in here. It's a very good system. So this is obviously under the couch slash children's bed. Um, under here, we've got the whole battery management system. Plus we have uh, a little bit more storage for extra donors or, or whatever you'd like to put in there. In here is where the hot water service lives. So we have a 12 volt uh, LPG instantaneous hot water service this is another one of the brand new uh, products that's in the trailer every single appliance in this trailer is brand new um, and and have on board the best appliances all been once again professionally uh, installed and hooked up by licensed plumber that's me the plumber <laughs> um, in here is the uh, battery management system so what we have here um, we have two sets of solar panels on the roof so two banks of three, so six solar panels total, um, both running in through the, uh, I will say it, MPPT solar chargers, which is your good solar charger, um, charging a bank of four uh, uh, deep cycle batteries. I think we have a total of 480 amp hours of battery power in here, and that will last about three days, two, two to three days without a charge. Um, obviously it's charging full time with the solar, um, so you do get quite a bit of life out of it, but cloudy days. Um, it has a 240 volt charging system as well, which is mounted in here. Uh, and it also has uh, the charging that comes from the car. So while you're driving the car, it charges the batteries as well. We've got our fuse panel here. We've got our 2200 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter here. So that drives the 240 volt off your batteries. Um, which is a very good system. You can also plug in a generator to the trailer and run the whole trailer of 240 volt. It's an option.